What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another Unprofessionally Unboxed. I'm one of your hosts. I'm Joe Gigatti, and today I check my P.O. box, and we got an awesome item here that was sent to us to check out. What can I do with an endoscope camera? <laughs> On my main channel, I actually reviewed an endoscope camera before and it was, it was pretty fun. This one's actually a Wi-Fi endoscope camera, whereas the other one was USB. So let's see how well that works. The front of the box is just a plain old cardboard box with a picture on there. It says Wi-Fi camera. On the side of the box, it lets you know that it works for Android and iOS. I don't have iOS. I'm gonna be doing this with Android today. You're gonna have to excuse the poor lighting as I don't have the setup down here completely done yet. So it's good enough, I think, for right now. Let's open up the box. There we have the unit itself. Put that to the side. What does that say? HP, HD 1200p. 1200p. In here we have the magnets and the mirror as attachments. Whenever you need that. It like, looks like a vial or something like you're about to collect some blood. Or, you know, have some paraphernalia that you shouldn't be having in one of these things. Don't carry this little vial around when you're driving. I want to get pulled over and seen with that. We have a charging cable. And then we have a cable so you can hook it up to your PC or Macintosh, laptop, whatever. And then you plug in the micro USB into there. And of course you got uh, the manual. See anywhere, use a manual. Let's look the, we don't f with no instructions. Is there anything, oh, there is something in here. What is that? This is the, the Wi-Fi box. I guess this is what uh, sends it to your phone via Wi-Fi. Two micro USB ports down there. A power button. I guess these would be indicators or lights. And what would this be? Speakers? All right, let's try it out. Hopefully there's enough juice in here because I kind of want to try it out right now. I don't really feel like waiting. That and it's getting a little late. Got my clothes packed upstairs. We're going away for the weekend. Kind of want to get this done now. Let's hold the power button. It's lit up blue. One of these is for charging. One is for the camera. You plug it in and this gives you a little light over here. I guess that's when you shove it in somewhere dark, you can see inside. All right, let me pull it up on my phone and look through the Wi-Fi here. I think it's Wi-Fi Look 60A. It says it's connected. I know I like to say f the instructions, but maybe I do need it this time because I don't know what app to download. The Wi-Fi Look app. Self-explanatory. So let's pretend I didn't look at that. Okay, so the internet's not available when we're hooked up to the unit. So I actually have to turn it off then download the app, then connect to the unit. It's got a two and a half star review, only 89 reviews on it. This is still a new unit. They just sent it to me, they said try it out, see how you like it. All right, now that it's downloaded, let me hook it back up to the Wi-Fi. And I guess just like that, it works. I don't know about it being HD though. And it's like zoomed in completely. But it works. Is there a way to zoom out? Oh, I just flipped it upside down. There's all kinds of settings in here. You can flip it upside down, you can turn it around. Oh, sideways, okay. Portrait to landscape mode. What is this? Oh, take a photo. Record video, settings. All right, so I have it at 480, maybe that's the problem. Let me put it at 1200. So I guess that would be like 1080. Let me show you how I did that. I went to settings there, and then it asks you what resolution you want it at. Then you click modify resolution, success, confirm, go back. Um, I don't think it's much better. Let me see if it's actually in the settings that way. Yeah, it's at 1200. Let me just try 720. Modify resolution, confirm, back. Maybe because it's, I'm sitting in a basement. I don't know. It's still the same resolution to me. The tip of this actually gets a little warm. I guess it's just from the LED lights up there. Warm against the skin. Well, actually, when it gets up really close, it does look pretty good. My left ear has been bothering me lately, so let's uh, let's let's self-diagnose my ear. Oh, there's definitely some wax in the ear. This shouldn't be used as a tool to diagnose any health problems. I'm just letting you know that right now. But it is cool to see in there. Also, don't try this at home because you could puncture an eardrum or something like that. So there's a little wax in there. Maybe I need to clean it up. I also have sinitis in this nostril here. Let's see if we can see anything up there that's been bothering me. It's the reason I have like a permanent black eye. Is 
Yeah, it's pretty swollen in there. Uh-huh. Definitely swollen up. It's clean enough, though. I clean it out with uh, salt water each day. All right, let me get some alcohol wipes now that I put that up my nose. All right, maybe I should have done reverse order of this, but I did use some alcohol wipes. So we're going to check out my tonsils now. Man, do I have one ripped up tongue? In case you're wondering, yes, my tonsils are swollen. Yes, they are red. That is because of my sinitis and I get like post nasal drip that swell them up all the time. They said I don't need surgery unless I stop breathing. I haven't stopped breathing yet. So no surgery for me. Hmm. Where else can I shove this thing into? You guys are sick. That's not what I meant. Let's look in my G7X Mark II camera battery compartment because I mean, let's say this was broken. I wanted to check out the inside. Maybe I wanted to self-diagnose it before I go spend a lot of money and send it to someone who's gonna charge me a lot to check it out. I can see if there's a bent pan or I could see if there's any corrosion in the inside that maybe just needs a cleaning. There you go, check that out. And pretty good resolution once you get in there. Yeah, I keep my cameras clean or as clean as I can. So we know the Wi-Fi works. We know that the light is bright enough when you're inside the dark. We know that you're able to get an image. We know that the app is easy to download, easy to use. So let's try one of these little attachments in the this little crack vial over here. It comes with a magnet, in case you drop anything metal down a drain, a mirror, and a hook, and a hook in case you drop your wooden ring down the drain one day. And it's as simple as just screwing it onto the top. The mirror is plastic, so I kind of want to see the quality now that the mirror is on there. Let me just peel off that protective layer they had on there. I have to admit, I don't think it's the clearest on there. But could it get the job done? Yeah, quite possibly. I guess that's what happens when you're dealing with plastic. And let's just see how strong this magnet is. I'm going to use this mini wire that's got a decent amount of weight to it. Ooh, that actually, that actually got on there real quick. Wiggle a little bit. Wow, this is this is this is pretty damn good. That's a good magnet. That's good to know. If I drop something metal down the drain, I I can pick it up. Or say I'm repairing something, I drop a screw. And I don't think I really need to test this hook, do I? I mean, like, I could do this. No, yeah. like it works, right? Like it's a hook. That, it's, it's a hook. Wait a minute, there's something on the side here. It's a little wheel, it looks like a volume wheel, but it could be the autofocus. Oh no, it's just a light dimmer, <laughs> okay. If it's too bright, you can uh, turn it down with this little wheel over here. All in all, I think it's a cool little product and I thank you for sending it out to the PO box. If you have a product out there and you want us to try it out, I'm gonna leave the PO box link below. You can send it to either me or you can send it to Junior, whoever you'd like to try out a product. If you like this video and you thought it helped you, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, share it if you need to. And if you wanna see more from us, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time. Uh, 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 uh,